Ladies and gentlemen of the American Jury and Bulldog Nation, towards the end of yesterday, Attorney General Barr announced that the Justice Department doesn't see any evidence of widespread fraud in the 2020 presidential election. I don't know about you, but that rather shocked me in light of the evidence which I have reviewed in these lawsuits that have been filed across the country as well as the hearings. Now, I just want everybody to understand this. Many of you have raised this question and it's a good question. Should we count on the Justice Department who did what they did to Trump, the FBI, so forth and so on, should we trust them to do anything? You know, at one point in time, I was very hopeful about Barr. He sure was better than Jeff Sessions. But the whole concept that this Dunham, United States attorney, appointed to tr investigate the origins of the Russian investigation out of Connecticut, that no report has come forth, even today, of any kind, is really troubling. And now he's been appointed special counsel to continue this, even past Trump. Ladies and gentlemen, the American Jury and Bulldog Nation, do you trust the Justice Department? Do you trust the FBI? Look at the recent evidence. We have truck, a semi-tractor trailer, trucking ballots from New York to Pennsylvania. How does that happen? That's not evidence. It is a bizarre, weird thing going on in this country over and over again, how people escape the noose. It's my personal opinion, the reason why the FBI and the CIA are able to continue their corruption is Washington DC is full filled with a bunch of mutual blackmail. Think about it. Comey was the head of the FBI. Think all that he knows. Brennan, head of the CIA. Think of all that he knows. Clapper, national intelligence. Think about all that he knows about everybody. Personal lives, business lives. They sit there and say, oh, you come after me, I'm going to sing. It's one big mutual blackmail. Heck, I think Bill and Hillary Clinton ran a black ops operation. All the money they have. Think about what Bill and Hillary Clinton know. She was at state. Clinton was president. Think about it. Now, I want you to compare all that we know, all the corruption that's gone on. The election, Hillary Clinton, Comey, leaks, all the crimes. This is from the Enquirer. Community must clear, must send clear message against corruption. This is in Sunday's paper. An epidemic of arrogance has infected our elected officials at every level in government. You know what? This is about Cincinnati City Council, the local FBI, local U.S. Attorney. Now, I'm all for the prosecution of the city council members. But just think about it. The city council members that have been charged with these crimes, the people in Washington, D.C. aren't charged with any of this? Ever. Never. It, it, is, it is just, the credibility is just gone from the United States Attorney and the FBI. Gone. They have none anymore. That is scary and sad for our country. Ray? Ray was just another Bushite that somebody told Trump he ought to appoint. Barr? He was a Bushy. Jeff Sessions? What a disaster he was. It, it just doesn't change. Trump changed a lot. He had an opportunity to change even more. And he got talked out of it. Oh, you got to work with these people. You got to work with these people. Let's hope one day something 
finally happens to change the course this country's on. Because it's on a course that's not good. It's not good for our country. It's not good for you or me. It needs to change. But it ain't going to change as long as the swamp continues to be filled with all the swamp monsters that it's filled with. This is a bulldog. Every dog has their day. Have a great day.